Hello and welcome to another First Impressions video brought to you by MMO Play. We're taking a look at a new free-to-play third-person shooter called Gundog. It's available over at OG Planet and it, it is a third-person shooter that's got a little bit of card collecting in it. You can unlock specific characters, classes, and other perks by collecting cards. So you can see one of the basics here. I'm going to take the shotgun card for both sides. I don't want to aim, so shotgun seems to be the way to go. You can see the one star rating on it, so it's a very basic card. You can unlock li others later on, which we'll look at briefly. You can get into the tutorial, which we're going to skip. It's pretty basic. The controls of this game are really intuitive. If you ever played any other shooter, pretty, pretty comfortable. It is third person shooter, but there is not a cover based system, so it's not going to be your Mass Effect style of gameplay. So let's check out the store real quick and get to some of the different things you can buy. You basically can buy either a common hero, which is the, another one star hero, or you can start buying packs, or eventually there can be things like rentals and all other stuff like that. But for now, let's go and just kind of look there. These are the packs. You start with 5,000 gold, which is enough to get you just a basic pack, or you can unlock a little bit more gold to get to 7,500 and then buy yourself one of the bigger ones. Let's just go for the basic right now. So, got a union starter here. Click on it. Let's say OK. Confirm it one more time, and what do we get? Open the pack, just like cracking a pack of magic cards. Got a two-star machine gunner. So you can see he's going to be a little more potent than my one-star. And then some of the other things you can get eventually. Some of this is not fully implemented quite yet. So you can see I can also buy a, just a one-star shotgunner right here. You can also look through your collection, see what else you have access to. So I'll just check out the interface. Now let's go and look at the games themselves. So here is the screen that's got all the different games on your channel. You can see basically the two ones you're going to find a lot of are Team Deathmatch and Steel. You can also have different maps and different server size. So let's see, I'm just going to pick a game that's going pretty good right here, 9 out of 20. Team Deathmatch, it's who's the top dog. How very punny. You can choose to pick, pick a different team or leave the game if you want to get something else. But here you go. Team Deathmatch, the objective, kill everyone, eliminate enemies. Got it. If you die, there's about a five second respawn pretty quick. Some of the controls are a little bit different. You can hold shift to do a little dash ahead. Let's see. It's a little hard to tell when you're first playing uh, who's ally and not. It's basically your jackets. I actually took one shot at him and thought maybe he was a... Uh, a friend and didn't want to shoot him again. But there we go. It's why I like shotgun. You don't gotta aim, you just gotta hit someone right in front of you. Of course, you gotta be kinda close. WASD movement, space jump, control to do a crouch, and if you tap it once, you stay control. There's the shift, it blows a sprint. There's also a skill, too. You can hit E to unlock your skill. Did not seem to be. Whoa. A little bit of latency there. They don't seem to be active actually in this particular match though. F to melee, so controls pretty standard. If you've played any shooters, you'll get be pretty comfortable with it. Got the meme up in the top right. You can see some people there. Different classes have different skills. One of them. Whoa. Shoot. Oh no, he had a he had a rifle, so he had a little bit of an advantage over me there. Different classes have different skills. Some of them can stealth. The shotgunner does a little electric slide and. It's kind of like basically a second sprint bar right there, but others, the sniper can do a stealth. One of them can actually do a one that is a sniff. It'll uh, show enemies on the mini map. Just shoot, shoot everybody! Reload. Oh, oh, ow, ow! Stop, stop hitting me! Oh, we killed each other. Other options include hitting G for grenade, and there's other abilities. One and two swaps between weapons. Five is another grenade. No, four is another grenade. Five is to use mission objective points if we were doing a raise the flag style map instead of team deathmatch. Get up there. Get up to the top. Whoa. Getting shot from behind. Guy over here. Oh, no, he's dead already. So it's a very dog-eat-dog dog world. I'll be here all week. 
Go over here. Time's up. We can get a little more uh, extra time to shoot each other up. A little bit more senseless violence, and that's it for the game. Games are pretty fast-paced, and let's see. The top dog <laughs> gets a bonus, too, so... There's their XP and gold for winning, so you get about, what, they got 600 for their top guy? And then the overall top dog, the guy that has the best stats in the whole game, gets a big bonus. Look at that, even on the losing team, he got over 700 gold. So they play about between 10 and 20 games, you can get yourself one of the bigger booster packs, get yourself a better hero or two. There's also going to be an XP system for some progression. And you can just go maybe try out the machine gunner later. Oh, oh, it's tied to class, so there is a level system. Basically, you have to have certain level requirements to use higher level cards. That's it for today. Check the game out. It's available for free on OG Planet called Gundog. For the content, stay tuned to more for MMO Play. Thanks for watching. 0 and 1. Boo.